It's time for our basic first mark sheet of the match. Let's see how Tom Moody marks players of the Kings XI Punjab and the Rajasthan Royals. Basic first, specialized platform for JEE main, advanced, neat and 6 to 12. Right, Tom, let's start with the Rajasthan Royals. Chofra Archer with the ball, 2 for 26. Yet another impactful performance from the Rajasthan Seema. How would you mark him out of 10? 9 out of 10 for me. You know, he is carrying the load there big time. Um, and he's done it throughout the whole tournament. No different this evening. Uh, wonderful performance. Took the early wicket, which is what you asked for your strike bowler, in a brutal way. Uh, and he also managed to remove Chris Gale at the end there, uh, just one short of his century. But just, he's, he's a threat every time he's got the ball in his hand. Well, ben Stokes was uh, a threat yet again with the bat, second game running, but he also picked up a couple of big wickets with the ball of Rahul and Puran. Gave Rajasthan the start that they wanted in this important chase. How would you mark Stokes up there? Look, Stokes nine as well. Um, on the basis that you know he he's not expected to bowl four overs. He bowled four overs uh, this evening effectively, and as you said, he 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 took wickets. Um, but I think what really gives him the points up to nine out of ten is more the, the fact that the, that he delivered with the bat and got them off to the flyer to shake off any doubt to whether that total of 186 was a total that they can chase down. So really, from the point of his, I reckon, time at the crease after about the fourth to fifth over, it was very clear to me that Rajasthan were well and truly in the box seat. But before the first ball of the innings, to me, it was very much in favour of Kings eleven. All right, fair point. Sanju Samson, run seemed to have found a way back to the bat of Sanju Samson. 48 for him today. Would have got a 50 if it not been for a brilliant bit of fielding. How would you mark him out of 10? Yeah, an 8 out of 10. Just, you know, I'm marking him high because I just can't believe how well he times the ball. Um, you know, no one times the ball as sweetly as he, he does. And he must be hiding some sort of muscle power there because they not only go for six, they, they go about 20, 30 yards over the boundary. Uh, and he, he's he's a delight to watch as well. He, he's so good on the eye, some of his stroke play. His first shot um, to score a boundary through backward point was just, you know, you, you could watch that on loop all day long. Um, so classy player, another good innings from him. We were very critical of him during that lean patch. He's now delivering at the, at the back end of the tournament and doing it consistently. Right, Chris Gale. Let's go to the Punjab side now. And Chris Gale, 99 for him. Is he getting a nine for missing out on 100? I'm getting him a nine and a half. How's that? I'm giving him nine and a half. And the half is because he's over 40. Um, look, again, Chris Gale just defies what, what we think is possible in T20 cricket. Firstly, you know, scoring uh, freely as he does, continuing to hit sixes at his age, um, you know, he was sidelined for the first part of the tournament. He's come out and proved a lot of people wrong. Uh, he's batting out of position. He spent his whole career as an opener. He's batting at three. I know it's not a big difference, but still he's doing it and doing it very effectively. And his leadership, I think, in more ways than one has been very, very important. Mm, all right, let's go to their appointed leader. And that's KL Rahul. Now, 46 and just about a run a ball. How would you mark him out of 10? I'll give you a five, five out of ten. Um, it was a pass, but just. Um, yeah, look, he built the base, a really strong foundation with Chris Gale. They lost an early wicket. He had to bunker down for a period of time, get through that early loss, plus also get through the Joffre Archer overs. Um, it was a good, solid partnership with Chris Gale, but just at the back end of that partnership, he, he failed to just loosen the shackles and kick off and and show us some, you know, shot play that we know he's capable of doing. For some reason, the longer he batted this evening, it was nearly like the harder it was for him to find his rhythm and timing. Mm. And finally, we've gone with Ravi Bishnoi. Now, he didn't get a wicket, but on a day when everyone else in that second innings with a lot of due, Tom has gone at 10s, 11s, 12s, even 12 and a half. Ravi Bishnoi has bowled his four overs for 27. How would you mark him out of 10? Well, I'm really pleased you've gone with him because I think he bowled really well in conditions that were challenging. And we've also got to understand that uh, this guy's, you know, he's only 19 years old. So I'm giving him an 8 out of 10 um, on the basis that he had everything going against him. He's the most junior 
in that whole bowling attack, but he continues to stand tall and deliver in all sorts of circumstances. John Woody, thank you very much. That wraps up our basic first mark sheet of the match. Basic first, specialized platform for JEE main advanced, neat and 6 to 12.